Have you ever had a dream? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Happy weekend. My schedule for today is to firstly hit the gym and then watch Startup because they only update during weekends. So I want to make sure I catch up every Saturday morning with the show and I've been really really loving this show. After that, I'll probably head out because last week when I went to Guggenheim, I was told that you have to make a reservation to go in. I bought the tickets for this Saturday afternoon 5 p.m. and I'll go to Guggenheim around that time. That's my schedule for a day. Because me and my friend are going to San Francisco for Thanksgiving, so I want to make sure I do work out every single day before we go to San Francisco to tighten up a little bit. I have been neglecting working out due to my really heavy tight schedule at work. So I want to make sure I work out on the two days of the weekend. And without further ado, let's hit the gym. on Saturday morning because not many people are there so I have more space it gives me a fresh start of the day so I have more energy to do other stuff so my brothers when day we gonna make it we just gotta grind for that paycheck mama told me one day I'll be famous remember when she used to say she hate this that ended with life when I say shit now I'm inside all them people's playlists So one day I'll be stomping on those stages But right now we're just dancing in the basement Right inside the basement Set it's 4 a.m. Still wear wavy ticket faces Learn this shit ourselves on my own time I made shifts Shooting for the moon, gon' turn this Honda to a spaceship Shorty won't fuck with me I just won't get some rain and sleep Shit low free, yeah Okay, quick OOTD before we go I am so late for Guggenheim so I have this dress, A-shaped dress from Kos. And then the necklace is from Mango. The bag is from Club Monaco. For shoes from both. I really like it, this is really cute. It's like platform and Oxford shoes. Super cute. Okay, this is my OTD, let's head out. tripod today because my bag is too small but that will be fine and we're heading to the train station and go to Guggenheim Different applications of really 
colorful paintings. Finally checked out Guggenheim. Um, I definitely learned a lot. I always appreciate how much dedication, time, and effort the artists would put into their work. All right, so right now I am heading to Muji to buy some stuff before we fly to San Francisco. Chatting in a coffee shop, sitting by the windowsill. Walking down 8th Avenue with you Our fingers touching the light You pull back blushing delight Call me when you get back home Meet me at Manhattan Hench Meet me under Columbus Circle I'll be waiting there for you skincare routine because I changed my skincare products recently and I'm feeling really good about them so let's get started I've been using this Bioderma for uh, to remove my makeup for a very long time and I really trust this brand I feel it gets my makeup off really easily and it cleans as well Next up, I'll be using another cleanser uh, to wash my face. This is actually a acne wash. So I bought this product from Amazon. I actually learned about it through a YouTuber because I was looking for a cleanser that would clean up my black head on the nose. And I feel this is really working. I highly recommend this brand. You guys should check it out if you are having a problem with black cats or acne. Okay, I finished washing my face. I like to use this cotton pad I bought from Muji to dry my face instead of a towel because I feel this is cleaner and just um, doesn't hurt my skin. As for toner, I'm still using this SK2 Essence Treatment. I didn't really find a better um, toner. If you guys have any recommendations, please hit me with them. Um, I really wanted to change this because I don't think it's that effective for me. I forgot to say for my skincare routine, it is for very very dry skin type. So you will find most of them will be super hydrating, protecting sensitive skin. After toner, I'll use this um, Drunk Elephant Intensive Hydrating Serum. I really like to use it in winter because my skin tends to be super dry in winter and I do feel this would maintain a hydrated skin until next morning. combination of facial oil and then the face facial cream so this is the virgin marula luxury facial oil from drunk elephant as well and then this is actually the signature product polypeptide cream this is their signature facial cream I really really like these two products so actually I bought that hydrating serum first and 
I thought it was really working on me and then after that I bought these two products so before this facial oil I've been using the um, La Mer their renewal oil this is also really good but it's just too expensive for me and I feel um, it has a lot of ingredients that's not really for skincare. Many of them are actually for a good smell of it, for the aroma of the oil. Anyway, so I got this oil. It's actually a much better price. And then I feel it's also super hydrating and fixes my skin problems because of a dry skin type. I also like their set set up. You have to pump it to get the cream out. The inside of the cream doesn't get polluted. And then after I get the cream, I will get a pump of the marula oil and do three or four drops, blend them together, and then put on my face. Meet me when the stars align. Meet me when the earth divides. And yeah, that's pretty much my skincare routine. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I think that's pretty much what I have to say today. And I just posted a vlog testing out my new camera sony zv1 and if you're interested you should check out my previous video other than that i hope you enjoyed your weekend and happy early thanksgiving bye see you in next video meet me at manhattan hench meet me under columbus circle i'll be waiting there for